So I just received these today. Um, I have a video of making my own, uh, but these are store-bought and, um, you know, if I had seen these for the price that I bought them for, I probably wouldn't have made my own. So I think I paid about $12 for this whole set. Um, so these are E-Field and H-Field probes, and um, I use mine all the time, the one that I built. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll probably start using these now. So there's one E-Field probe, and then there's a uh, different size uh, H-Field probe. So a little tiny circle, a bigger circle, medium circle, and a large circle. And um, they all have SMA connectors on them. And this is long, but it's just a, it's just a, uh, a, a transmission line here. This, it's just, all of these are just wire. They're just, they're just shielded wire. They're, they're done with a, a two-layer board and uh, with via stitching and stuff. So uh, they, should be, they should be quite robust. Um, so like I said, I already have a video of me uh, building these things and using them, but let's go ahead and demo these new ones out. So let me, uh, let, me re let, 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 me, let me rearrange the camera a bit. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Tiny SA because that's probably the spectrum analyzer most of you have, uh, unless you're fortunate to have a nice one. But let's take a look at these various, the various ones. We'll just start with the big one. So the way that you use these is you just uh, you screw them on and then they just, uh, like a magic wand, you, you, you show them a circuit and then you can watch, the, uh, uh, watch what you see. So... Let me uh, kind of get this up there, a good angle. All right, so I have a circuit here that we'll play with. It's just my little, uh, um, what would you call this thing, RF generator, I guess. So uh, we can then use the uh, uh, use this and uh, and probe around on it. Okay. So let me show you a close up first. So as I as I probe around over near the uh, the synthesizer chip, you see all kinds of harmonics and stuff. And then if I go over to a different part of the board, we see just individual frequencies and things, right? So it's quite, it's quite selective. Um, let me change to the medium one, and which will be a little bit more selective. Okay, and a different frequency range as well. We'll go over that uh, synthesizer area again. We see all the, see all the harmonics, and then over here uh, is a. Uh, uh, I think this is the main mic microprocessor. So that's probably the uh, master clock on the on the uh, microprocessor. So you get the idea. So let me zoom out, zoom out, so you can see everything. I don't need to show the detail of the uh, of the display. So let me let me kind of let me kind of back out and get the uh, get the yeah that that'll be okay. Let's see if that how that looks on camera. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, so over here is where I was probing. Okay, here's the probe. And I can hold it way back here, out of out of range. And I can look at the uh, I can look at the harmonics over here. It looks like this this um, a really little, a really big signal over there. Um, and then over here is a little microprocessor, and here's the oscillator for it down in the corner here. And if I go over that oscillator there, you can see its frequency. Um, so let's change probes. Let's go to even a smaller probe. It should be a little more a little more selective. So I like the size of this one. About a quarter inch, uh, about a uh, six, seven millimeter diameter. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So we can go over here, and yeah, this is the this is the master clock here. It should be at a hundred megahertz. So yeah, that's probably it there. So let's see here. Marker. Uh, does this readout marker? I forget. Uh, yeah, I guess this is a marker. That's at 200, so it's showing me a second harmonic on that one. Uh, 200. And then if we come over here to this little guy here, uh, see if we can get a signal on him. There he is. So he's at 144 megahertz. And let's go ahead and read the, uh, read the oscillator here. The oscillator is a 8 megahertz oscillator. So we are looking at a really big, really big harmonic of eight megahertz, aren't we? Wow. Anyway, uh, you get the idea. Let me change to an E-field probe. I haven't tried the E-field probe out yet. And let's come over here to the, uh, to this. Yeah, we're still getting that same 
We're getting 140. Oh, we're getting 100 megahertz now. 100, 100 megahertz on. Uh, oops. On that, and then over here we get all these harmonics and stuff. Yeah, interesting. So when we go back over to this real noises section where we're getting all that stuff, the E-field probe is very selective. It's not showing, it's not showing uh, all a bunch. So we can, we can kind of see the individual uh, clocks here. This clock is a hundred megahertz clock. I'm, I know that. Uh, so, so it is that one there. And then we have a uh, third harmonic is 300. That's over there. Anyway, so I think you get the idea. Uh, how, how useful these things are. They're non-contact, so you're not loading down your circuit. And uh, you get you get four, four H field and one E field, and for 12 bucks, I mean, <laughs> for 12 bucks, geez. Um, they seem really nice quality. They don't seem like they're gonna break. Um, they seem like they're made, they seem like they're made well, and they put heat shrink on it, so you're not gonna short anything out. And um, yeah, I like them, they're great.